girls today our math lesson is I can choose a tool and use it to solve a problem so there are different tools that we can use in order to solve the problem let's look at our solvent share there are 23 red balloons in a bag there are 38 blue balloons in the same bag how many balloons are in the bag use a tool to solve the problem be ready to explain which tool you used and why all right so let's look at our cube strategy first to solve a word problem we have our cube strategy let's drag it all right so c stands for circle the key numbers so we are going to circle the key numbers numbers are 23 and 38 now u stands for underline the question so we're going to underline the question the question is how many balloons are in the bag b stands for box any math action words or the keywords so it says there are 23 red balloons in the bag there are 38 blue balloons in the same bag so they are talking about the same bag so same word is really important how many balloons are in the bag so now since they joined both numbers in the same bag, so that means we have to use the addition strategy, okay? So next step is to evaluate the steps. So we evaluated the steps that we need to use the equation 23 plus 38. And we need to find the sum. So... Now, there are different tools given here that we can use. We can use cubes, we can use counters, we can use a hundred chart, we can use technology, paper and pencil, or place value blocks. So first, I'm going to show you how you can use the place value blocks. So again, we're going to go to our manipulative bar and grab our place value blocks from here. 23 has two tenths, two tenths, and three ones. That's 21, 22, and 23. So 10, 20, 21, 22, 23. Now, let's look at the next number. Our next number is 38. 10, 20. 30. Now we're going to add the ones in here. 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36, 37, and 38. So we have 23 and 38. Now we need to add them together. I'm always going to start from my ones column. So we're going to count the ones first. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. So we are going to make the group for this 10 into these 10 ones will become 1, 10. So I can replace these 10 ones with 1, 10. Okay, so this is what I'm going to do. I'm going to grab my 10 because I have exchanged or I have regrouped these 10 ones with 1, 10. Now, let me look. How many ones do I have left? So, I have only one one left. Now, how many tens do I have? One, two, three, four, five, six. I have six tens left. So, what's my sum? It's 61. 23 plus 38 gives me 61. Why I use the base 10 blocks? Because the place value blocks help me visualize the problem i can count the tens i can regroup the 10 ones into one 10 and i can replace it with the tens and i can count it so that was the first tool that we used we can also use the counters or the cubes or the or the hundred chart or you can also use the paper pencil the next strategy i'm going to show you is using the paper pencil and when we are having the paper and pencil, we can use our regular standard algorithm method where we are going to align the numbers with tens on one side and the ones on the other side. So we have ones on this side 
and tens on this side. So these are our numbers. Now we're always going to start from the ones column. 8 plus 3 is 11. 11 is a two digit number. We need to regroup. So I'm going to place the ones here and the tens on top. Now I'm going to add the tens all together. 2 plus 1 is 3. 3 plus 3 is 6. So I got 61. 61 is the sum that I got from the standard algorithm method. I also got the same sum, the same sum when I was using the place value block. So this is my strategy. Is there a different tool that I can use? Yes, you can also use uh, other strategies like uh, open number line. So I am going to show you how you can use the open number line. Let me grab a different color pen so you can see it. All right, so let's see. If I have a number line, okay, so I have my first number 23. And I have to add 38 to it. So 23. This is again using the tools paper and pencil. With the paper and pencil, you can show the standard algorithm method or you can use an open number line. So now I'm going to add the 38. 38 has three tenths. So I am going to add three tenths 10, 20, 30. And then it has eight ones. Eight ones mean that we can add five and three. So let me just label them first. I have added tens, 20, and my last jump was 30. Now, my next jump is going to be smaller because it's a 5 jump. And then I can add by 1. So, this is 35, 36, 37, and 38. So, these are my jumps of 1 my smaller jumps of one and now I'm going to label my open number line 23 plus 10 gives me 33 I'm only changing the tens place value the one place value remains the same 33 plus 10 is 43 43 plus 10 is 53 53 plus 5 is 58. 58 plus 1 is 59. 59 plus 1 is, let me fix my 9. 59 plus 1 is 60. And 60 plus 1 is 61. So you have seen three different strategies and two different tools that you can use to solve a problem. Make sure you complete the rest of the pages. Hopefully this will be helpful.